Hello, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bokola and um, this is my first video ever. So welcome and thanks for watching. So NASA has released a new album, King's Disease, and I'm going to be listening to it and reacting to it. I love Nas, he's legendary, he's an icon, and let's get into it. Okay. So track number one, The Pressure by Nas. Increase the volume a little bit. The pressure where your time is getting to. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. So the little snippets that I just heard, I really like it. It's such a nice intro. I don't know what the album is going to give yet. <clears throat> I feel like I need water. I don't know what the album is going to give yet, but that intro is just so smooth. Um, the pressure way turn is getting too heavy. Okay, let's continue. Too heavy. Had to inspire them again like I didn't already. Real ones still around. Release the confetti. Got sun across the belly. I ain't made it till we all could say that we made it. Mm. Been down with the hustle so long. Feel like we related. Take my word like you would from the book of Revelations. Dead presidents. That should come when you dedicated. I invest in education because we wasn't privy. We got busy for scholarship programs throughout the city. Hefe did it my way. Chairman of the committee. Rat Pat niggas like Sinatra in the 60s. Come through on some wavy shit. Valentino camouflage on some Army Navy shit. I know you can feel the pressure. Keep up with my cadences. QB lingo. Freestyles taping on stretch and barbedo. Hit through me. Okay. That rhyme scheme that he just did. That was fire. Nas is fire. I don't know. I don't know what you expect me to say. It's fire. Eat a beat and I had to eat it. Uh, the lies I recorded in your session deleted. Hurting niggas, I think they out for the rest of the season. Try to play it cool. <laughs> the lies you all recorded in your session deleted. Nas is saying all those rumors, all that. Like we like to say in my <laughs> in Nigeria, other parfum, everything you guys are saying in the session deleted. Okay. If it's not addressed, it's not respected. Oh, they don't want to see me heat it. Nah. The pressure where your turn is getting too heavy. Had to inspire them again like I didn't already. Real ones still around, release the confetti. Got sun across the belly. Across the belly. The world on my shoulders is getting too heavy. I've been bitch pressing the problems, ain't even get sweaty. Cops brutalizing kids, I see it too steady. I've been bench pressing the problems, I ain't even get sweaty. I've been bench pressing the problems. But I'm not sweating. You know, when you have problems, um, it's supposed to be a big deal. You sweat it up because you've got a problem. But Nas is saying he's bench pressing the problem. Pressing the problem, not the other way around. But he's not even tripping and he's not even sweating because when you bench press, you're supposed to be sweating at the gym. Bars. Bars for days. I see you, Nas. Correctional facilities never do it correctly. My main statement is this whole game is triangulated. Little versions of who, nigga, there's no replacement. Beside my kids' boundaries are my greatest creation. I've been on five, four generations. It's Nas till I'm gone. Get my all, give them all. Miles on my Peloton. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We need to run that back. Um, We need to run that back. We need to run that back. 
Shall we just let it play? He said, Correction of facilities never do it correctly. My main statement is this old game is triangulated. Little versions of O, N word, there is no replacement. Beside my kids, boundaries are my greatest creations. I've got one question. Did I lie? Did Nas lie? He didn't lie. The whole game is triangulated. The whole game is rigged. Payola. Speak your truth, King. I've been working on my core. Colors of Benetton, pastel rugs on the floor. Mill prep me, Ferrari testy. She out on the terrace, glass of truce with her bestie. Drunk Texan, while I'm out here trying to spread the message. You searching for qualities that I'm already blessed with. R&B X's, charms on a necklace. Got something across the belly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm chuckling. I love, I love that line where he said, "You're searching for qualities that I'm already blessed with, R and B excess." But the way he said it, it sounded like R I P excess, like rest in peace, my excess. You're searching for qualities that I'm already blessed with. You left me thinking you're going to find something better out there, but girl, everything you're searching for, I got it. <laughs> love it just love it is that it okay way to the world so it seems like that's it that's track one Okay, so how are we feeling about track one, guys? The pressure. I really, really like this track. Um, I think it's a nice introduction into the album. I really love it. I love the cadence. I love the flow. I love the uh, lyrics. Um, there are a couple of bars in there that I caught. I'm not the biggest hip hop head, and I wouldn't say that. I, I know I probably missed it ton of bars and that's okay but the ones i catch this is my first time listening to it i'll try and explain or try to say how i caught it and what it made me how it made me feel and what i think nas is saying but i think i caught a couple of bars in there so um the pressure out of 10 i would rate it uh i'll rate it a cool nine i really love it i love it i love it i love it that's Nothing more to say about it. It's a cool night. I'm not giving it a 10 yet because I don't... I have a feeling like it's still... It's an intro track. I have a feeling that the other tracks that are coming are going to be bangers. So um, I don't want to give this a 10. And then I set it up to... I set the expectation too high, but this is fire. All right. So second track is Death Row East and... This is just nice. Okay, let's get into it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, hold up. KD2 shit. Hey, hold up. Come on. Whoa. Right back at this. Right back. Right back. Hold up. Whoa. High on life. Drunk off dark liquor. Chicken eerie. Like I do on Thriller, bitch, I'm a hard hitter. Rolex clocks and killers holding the order. I'm praying God delivers. I had runners with sugar, niggas would have been shook. At the height of the beef, they started death from east. Damn, I even saw they keys on some of my cheese. Notorious label, the story was made in the streets. Now it's real life movies. Rest in peace and well. Let's talk about it. Smartest, not the loudest, came about the project houses where they resort to violence. Hennessy bottles on the curb, little niggas trying to serve. Let's talk about it. Back when jungle toe pockets on, soon as we walk about this. Pick a size outlaws outside the music hall. Bunch of ghetto superstars really down to lose it all. Both sides was thugging. But when you in my city, you know how we coming. Mm. Animals in the field and most of them clutching. Mm. When you live in this rugged, that cover repercussions. Look, high on life. 
dark liquor, shit getting eerie, like I threw on Thriller, bitch I'm a hard hitter, Rolex clocks and killers holding the order, I'm praying God delivers, I had runners with sugar, niggas would have been sugar, at the height of the beef, they started death from east, damn I even saw they tease on some of my G's, notorious label, the story was made in the streets, history lessons, keep it on record. Okay, um, the second track sounds like um, Nas is reflecting on his life, on when he came into, into the game, the state of hip hop. Um, I mean, he's doing in, um, some bars about Such Knight, Death Row, um, the Death Row um, East. Um, He said uh, he had runnings with Suj, and uh, at the height of the beef, they started Death Row East. Okay, he, mess, he alluded to Notorious B.I.G. Uh, the Notorious Label, the story was made in the streets. Now it's real life movies, rest in peace. Okay. Um, he mentioned Park, The Outlaws. Okay. Bunch of ghetto superstars went really down to lose it all. Both sides were stalking the east and west. Okay. But when you're in my city, you know how we come in. Animals in the field and most of them clutching. Most of them. They got a two. When you live in this rugged, that come with repercussions. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. In in terms of um how I feel about wanting to bob this, I'm I'm not sure. I think this is this is the kind of music that you listen to and you just reflect on. I don't think it's supposed to be the hip hop banger, and that's cool. It's interesting though that he made this the second track on the album. So let's continue. <laughs> Got a story real as mine, you can't leave nothing out of it. Take you back to nine, six diamonds and max tens. Looking through a fresh lens. Everything I knew now, I wish I knew back then. Like it was only so much time left. Before Machiavelli the Don left. Hmm. Hmm. Don't we all? Don't we all wish it? Everything we know now. I mean, I everything I know now, I wish I'd known it back then. Would have saved me a lot of pain and I take. I don't know. Okay, so I have the lyrics pulled up in front of me, so I'm kind of following the lyrics and following what Nas is rapping about. Looks like Nas is spilling a lot of tea. Nas is spilling a lot of a lot of tea in this in this um in the second verse. So he was talking about um something happened in Vegas. And at that time, there was no social media. There was no, you know, it's very, very easy to quickly cover up the story. So he didn't leak in the papers. Then he mentioned Eric B, Big D, and Premi was affiliated. Peace to E.D., Napoleon, and all the innovators. Um, Suj was a dangerous threat. I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not aware of anything that happened then. And... Uh, 96 how old was i in 96 <laughs> but it's interesting i wonder i wonder what um the old hip-hop heads when they listen to this i wonder what they'll think is this talking too much i don't know all right let's continue i'm just gonna let it ride um Park was never set up by stretch let it rest i said to him at brian park so we can speak direct he didn't disrespect we plan to be hold on I know I said I'm going to let it play, but he said Pac was never set up by stretch, let it rest. So he's saying all of the rumor about Tupac getting set up and getting 
mudded by stretch, let it rest. Okay, nice. Okay, that was something. I really like this track, not for the reasons that I think I would like it. It kind of, it, it, the track gives us a peek into the past. I feel like Nas was just trying to bring back real hip hop, you know, just rapping about the what he went through, rapping about what was happening then during his time, trying to lay some rumors to rest. Um, it's making me feel nostalgic. You know, you gain the sense of nostalgia when you listen to this track. Um, it's not something that you're going to bop to. I feel like you have to be in a certain kind of mood to play this track. So for that reason, I'm going to give it an eight. But it's a, it's a read. I loved um, Nasty's flow on this track. So we are going to go to the third track, 40 side by Nas again. No feature on this one as well. All right. just ask the real question and I need someone to answer he said how was you real when you ate the real my dude I'm simply asking this line makes me remember it it makes me feel um, Nikki's verse when Nikki said in um, the unreleased Kai why didn't Kanye release Donda yet <sighs> okay I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not to, I'm not going to digress but um what was I saying yes um I was you real when you hate the real um brings me to Nikki's um verse on new body where he said uh bitches be sleeping on me but they clip but be claiming the work <laughs> I was you real when you hate the real how you think you're all that when you're not popping You're sleeping on me, but you're claiming you walk. How are you real when you hate the real? Good question. You got to get a rise for your wealth. Can't spend all that time in your feelings trying to sympathize with yourself. Don't nobody owe you. Ain't nobody holding you back. You stuck in illusions. Attached to something that ain't even that. South Beach, Nassau, Amalfi, Maldives, same beach. Unless you are after something most men just can't see. Shorty off the block. Nas is spitting here. He's really spitting. He said, You guys are stuck in illusions. You are. You're attached to something that ain't even all that. So you went on to list all of the beaches South Beach, Nassau, Amalfi, Maldives. Same beach. Which is. 
which also still brings me back to um Lil Wayne's track on uh, Lil Wayne's verse on seeing green seeing green where he said um oh my god I need to say this right or else somebody's gonna take my bab card <laughs> where he said um got a hole in a land that with a hole in a land that with a hole and in a she a hole out a land that with a hole in a land she got a hole in a land <laughs> it's the same in this city <laughs> it's the same everywhere you got the south beach you got the nassau you tripping the maldives they're all bitches don't get attached unless you're looking for something or you're after something most men just can't see Facts. G talk. A lot of things go down like incarceration, you know, crime, drugs, violence. Out of all of this, you gotta look for the positive. OG talk. OG talk. OG talk. OG talk. Project Hall. Project Hall. Forty side where niggas seen it all. Seen it all. I can send niggas a slide. Slide. I'd rather show them the ropes. Ropes. Integrity matters the most. Most. I get the hood. Hope. Hope. Damn. Niggas really got it jumping. They finally get Nas a Grammy just from me to go. That wasn't the goal. First click was a warning shot, nigga. We spin it back. Up. I'm glad he addressed it. See, this is why I respect artists like Nas, right? He could have just dropped this album and not addressed the old Grammy debacle. For you guys that didn't know, Nas has been in the game for over 20 years and he was he has never won a Grammy before last year and they finally gave him one. Which is fucked up and I'm sure was bittersweet for him because <sighs> you give Blue Ivy a Grammy at the same time you give Nas his first Grammy. Let that sink in. Lil Nas X got Grammys plural before Nas. Lizzo got Grammys before Nas. Cardi B got a Grammy before Nas. I'm glad he's addressing it. He said they finally gave Nas a Grammy, just front me the gold. That wasn't the goal. Yeah. Yes, now he's gotten the Grammy, but he can't really brag about that. He can't, that's not an achievement because now it's bittersweet. And I feel like the same thing is also going to happen to Nikki whenever they just finally decide to stop the bullshit and give Nikki a Grammy. Because at this point, it's like, okay. You know, the only way it's going to mean anything is if Nikki was like five Grammys or 10 Grammys in a day or something like in a year or something like album of the year, song of the year, record of the year, artist of the year, best hip hop, uh, best hip hop performance. If she has a collaboration, best collaboration, best group, best this, best video, you know, pull a Michael Jackson or a Beyonce and win multiple Grammys at the same time. I think that's the only way they can actually make up for the bullshit they've done to artists like Nas and Nicki, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous at this point. Ridiculous. All right, let's get back to this. Up the road, through the barrows, pull up a rose, empty this picture, we love you, been in it this long, it's gonna look like it's magic. Only Allen that my niggas knew was right, cause it's static. You get your first V12, tap the pedal, and static. Get That's tough. That's tough. Only islands that my dudes knew was Rikers or Staten Prison. They were, they were not going to the Maldives. They were not going to the beaches. They were not they, the the islands for them means getting locked up. That's tough. Get your first ten milli. Watch that shit like a habit. OG talk. Shadow forty first side. Jackson Heights. Flushing Elmhurst. Keep your blicky. You know how the streets work. Stay too many of us die over the turf. OG talk. 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 OG talk.
OG talk. Project Hall. Seen it all. I can send niggas a slide. Slide. I'd rather show them the ropes. Ropes. Integrity matters the most. Most. I get a hood hope. Hope. Till then, we gon' be thugging behind a project building. Plotting on a way that we can make a million. A billion. Until then, we gon' be thugging. That outro reminds me of Kanye. <laughs> Why is Kanye not dropping the daughter? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so sad. Kanye is a tease. All right, for the side, we just listened to for the side, and I like it, but it's not my. I okay. So we've listened to the pressure track number one, death row east track number two, for the side track number three. All three tracks are slapping, but for me, the pressure is still the number one. This is my opinion. You can listen to it and form your own opinion. So I give the pressure nine. I give the death row east. I said eight, right? So 40 side to me would be like 8.5. All right. So track number four, EPMD. Nas got Eminem on his album. There's Eminem on this album? <laughs> okay. I gotta be adjust <laughs> and get ready for Eminem. Okay. I'm, I'll have to pull up the lyrics before I play this. I'm sorry, y'all. E P M D Nas Eminem. Lyrics. Okay. Okay, we have the lyrics up. Let's play this. Respectfully. Bucket on low like Eric and Parrish. Closed casket flow, all you niggas get dead it. They don't give you one single rose while you can smell it, so I pick from my own garden. Wanna go out with my garden like Godfather, grandkids in a rock while I got over the block trauma. So what you saying, nigga, you got to chill. Thinking you the truth, really, you not for real. Back to back with it, the hardest shit of the year. Remix. EPMD, we back in business. Ain't nobody fucking with us, come to your senses. He's the second coming to guard, something to witness. Piece of shit, fly in your head like Mike Pence's, we in the trenches. I'm mad, better yet, I'm on the rampage. But people can't even get minimum wage. Fuck a stimulus. Give me some interest. Mm. Give me a loan. Give me a home. Give me that land you owe me so I can roam. So when you trespass, blind, one in your dome. Best wishes, go some lucky Tommy. Ain't worried about nothing because it's far behind me. Facts. This verse. They started off said respectfully. They don't give you one single rose while you can smell it. So I pick it from my own garden. Want to go out in my garden like Godfather, grandkids and a Rottweiler got over the block trauma. This still ties back into what I was saying before about not giving artists their due when it is due giving nas grammy 20 something plus years after the fact and then they went on and um this verse says um my people can't even get minimum wage fuck his stimulus give me some interest give me some loan give me a home get me that land you hold me so i can roam that rhyme scheme there is speaking to me it's not about your little 1400 stimulus check we can't even get minimum wage fuck minimum wage we can't even get living wage let's talk about living wage because minimum wage is not living wage it's not 
Let's talk about abolishing redlining practices. Let's talk about black and minority individuals being able to access loans in the bank so they can buy their starter homes, low interest loans, so they can buy their first homes and build generational wealth. Let's talk about that. Give us back the land that you stole so that we can roam. Let's talk about reparations. If you want to talk about it, let's talk about it then. This is what I love about hip hop. This is what I appreciate about rap. This is what I appreciate about rap. It's not just about bad yadi 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 yadi. All of that is good. We can turn up in the club. We can, you know, when it's time to shake the ass, when it's time to twerk, we can do all of that. But also have some content, you know, have some, have some soul, have something that would we that can, we can have discussions about something that can resonate deep within us speak that can speak to the social issues that is why hip-hop was created in the first place to talk about that people were talk people were rapping about social issues people were fighting for justice before hip-hop was turned and became this whole agenda about um just destroying the black community and that is a video another time but i might cut this part out but Let's, let's get back into it. DMD, we back in business. I visualize what it is, not what it isn't. We at the mafia table next to the kitchen. E and Michelin star counting a million. Done. I let it go for the family meetings in code in Miami. Them wine bottles on Maggie extra large. Sign up for my master class, Escobar. Feet up in Met Stadium at my restaurant. Tied in from AZ to Davies, you know my thoughts get crazy. My teachers, they couldn't grade me. I know some Haitians in Dade County got choppers in Haiti. She booked a flight to Columbia, made her body amazing. Just to post it on Tumblr. This said, fuck up the summer shit. I don't care what you coming with me and hit boy running shit. Big gold rope chains, but they flooded now. Yeah. Pull up with the ghost like a hundred house. She getting scary blood on my hands like Carrie. Might walk through a cemetery to see where hip hop is buried. I said it was dead, but the fake is death like Machiavelli. You see letters in red splatter, look like sauce and spaghetti. Yeah, ready? CPMD, we're back in business. What's living in cramped conditions? We'll give you ammunition. It is a sacrilege to let Eminem come into the. <laughs> Coming to on the track like that without pausing and gathering ourselves. Okay. Hey, Mr. M. <laughs> Okay, um, so far, I like Nasi's verse better. I don't know if it's just me, but my opinion, I love Eminem, but so far, this is not, this is not doing it for me. There, there are a couple of bars in there that I really like. Um, one is, uh, it's a lot of bugs flying when I'm making it reindeer, but also reindeer, like the animal reindeer, but reindeer, like my deer, I'm making it reindeer. So reindeer, reindeer, that was dope. And then, um, There was some bragging in there. My paper's so crazy. I tossed the meal out of the window. I mean, why, why are you wasting money? Why are you trashing money? Is that legal? You toss the million out the window? Let me get some then. <laughs> Chill. 
a million dollars tossing it out the window. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not nothing crazy. I just read everything. Nothing crazy for me so far. If I miss some bars, I'm sorry. I said before, I'm not a, the best hip hop head out there. So, but let's get into it. Let's continue. It's with three Molly for summer E, which reminds me of rap summer re. Mommy, my theme saw me and Pete always used to play that shit on repeat all day. So please call me Big Daddy. Plus, I got the cane and lean on me. Yeah. And see, I'm eating you BITCH just like tortilla chips. Me, I'm free of debt. Yeah, green is on chia pet. This is the effects of my old neighborhood misery index poverty. It is Pico CD and PTSD. I guess RIP out to DMX. These are we and if CX is C and Prince Marky DMF do my hit 50 via text. Told him that I love him because I don't even know when I'm gonna see him next. Tomorrow could be a death. Pause. Eminem, why are you wishing death on, on 50? What did 50 send do to you? I don't think he meant it. You know, M is so crazy that he could say something and be like, it can be so passive aggressive. So he started, he said, I guess RIP to DMX. Uh, then he went off about he went off saying R.I.P. to like DMS, G's Louis, MC Ecstasy, Prince Makidim, Mother F MF Doom, and then he said I eat up fifty via text. Told him that I love him because I don't even know when I'ma see him next. Tomorrow could be a death, so tomorrow can be like either him or fifty can die tomorrow. So let them bury their hatchet. Did they have beef? Hold up. D let me search. 50 Cent and Eminem beef. Eminem became a burden when he signed. Ah, okay. Okay. But this, this beef, two, 2002... 2002 beef. Two thousand and two. Someone that was born in two thousand and two is nineteen years old now. Come on, guys, time to bury the hatchet. All right, let's continue. And I drink all the day for the blank on the paper, the weight to the pace for the pace for the shame for the strength of a pain for the drink. I just pray for the day when I'm able to say that I'm placed with the greats and my names with the canes and the wings and the J's and the Drake's and the Yays and the Drake's and the J to the J to cool J's and the Raz and Amaze and his Nas is embrace to the gods and his shout to the golden age of hip hop and the name of the song is PMD. We back at business. Eminem, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on, don't be humble. It doesn't fit you. He said, I will let me come on here and say, I just pray for the day when I'm able to say that I'm placed with the great and my names with the Canes and the Wings and the Janes and the Drays and the Yays and the Drakes and the Jakes and the J, the school J. Didn't at least just come out like uh, a week or so ago of the list of the top selling hip hop artists of all time and Eminem is number one. <laughs> this dude is is on this track acting like so humble like oh i pray they will come when my name will be up there in the greats and i'll be ranked as the same as the greats and the yays and the drakes and the jays <laughs> and the little waynes and the canes and the hello cool jays eminem the only no Eminem is in most people's top five. And it's not number five. Heck, it might not even be number four. It's definitely on most people's top three. Let's talk about it. I visualize what it is, not what it isn't. We at the mafia table next to the kitchen. E and Michelin star counting a million. Oh. Okay, so that was um, EPMD2 featuring Eminem and EPMD. All right, so this is another eight for me. Um, I don't know. 
see this is okay maybe i should have given the pressure a 10. i don't know so this is another it for me it's a dope record i think nas Vas was the best i'm sorry eminem you didn't bring it for me this time around um it's great it's a great verse i really love the rhyme scheme with the jays and the drakes and the yays and the waynes and the ll cool jays that was dope um yeah but the first half of his verse bored me i was just kind of like okay i'm waiting for you to pick up i'm waiting for him to do the crazy eminem and um like eminem always has like several tricks in his hat, in his bag, in his hat, tricks out of the hat, tricks out of the, you, you know what I'm saying, bag hat, whatever. So um, I feel like by the time he brought it for me, his verse was already over. So um, Nas definitely had the best verse. Then um, Eminem and EPMD can take also for <laughs> who had the second best verse on that on that track on this track. All right, so track number five, Rare by Nas. No features. Yo, I'm in red form. Niggas speak down on my name like I wasn't there for him. Protesting Black Lives Matter. This is dope, y'all. Rare, so far, might be a 10. Let's continue. Oh. Levels of Tarantino, curbing my ego, even though he know. Empty glass of Pinos. Beat switch. But they especially praises the ethos Stacks on blackjack, moving my chips No superstition to make me get rich I'm with this chick, this one I brought today In between, placing my bet We shot the Cartier Rose go, I copped the reset Runway, hopped in the jet Flight attendant, popping my wet I said I need that dime, all for respect We had a conversation, niggas showed me property there I called my nigga and I told him, yo, I gotta be there Sound of shish kebab in the misty fog Oh my god, I love that Big dog affair, no kids involved Round table having war council Press one button, it'll change the world around you Too rare, nothing to see here Cuban over my streetwear Get nobody to somebody kills you just to be fair It's okay to keep the mystique I learned that in the street I'm me solo with D I'm putting on for the G's We've been doing gangsta shit for a long time Look inside my mind, see a gold mine I'm my own cosign, she texts in the old line You keep staring at the glow, bitch don't go blind Brave heart energy, fuck all of the enemies Exo Hennessy, it's not on me, it's in me I'm not here to be friendly, they ain't even contending Caprende We've been doing gangsta shit for a long time Look inside my mind, see a gold mine I'm my own cosign, she texts in the old line Caprende It's up Hey boy, you on some other shit. We on some other shit. Caprende. Yeah. 
Oh my God, this track is so bomb. Okay, this is gonna be on repeat. I found the 10, see? I found the 10. Wow, this track is beautiful. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even want to stop it. And that's not because there, were, there wasn't no bars or anything in that music, but it's just too beautiful. You just, I felt in the groove. I felt it was saying some real stuff in there, but I didn't want to pause it because the instrumental guys, did you, did you hear that, uh, beat switch at the beginning of verse two and the da -da -da came in. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was a 10. We got our first 10. All right, track number six, YKTV, featuring a boogie with the hoodie and YG. Okay, there's a lot of features on this one. I'm going to pull up the lyrics before we play it. And we'll see what it's having. We'll see if it's going to give what it's supposed to give. YKTV Nas Lyrics I love genius guys genius to the rescue all day every day they be getting their lyrics up so fast y'all oh, oh yeah I'm sorry I didn't mean to say all that I should have opened with the reading of the scripture from the book of Pop Off <laughs> Every time I pop out and pop off, pop off. YKTV got the top off, top off. Private estate, I'm a mob boss, mob boss. Every time I pop out and pop off, YKTV. God, son, they call me son, ain't no son of me. Ran a hundred M's, bitch, are running things. Paper power pussy, that shit coming threes. What you think? Puss. The Nas just used a Nikki bar. Did Nas just build a Nikki bar into his own bar, making it a double or thunder? God's son, they call me son, ain't no son in me. But then he made it sound, ain't no son in me. God's son, they call me son, but there's no son in me, like I'm not a son. So ain't no sun in me, like you can't sun me. And who's known for having so many sons? The queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. If you're trying to be my son, <laughs> then mission complete, cause I'm the final level bitch, they on a mission to beat. It's like COVID and they gave you the way that all game stuff. I ain't messing with those bitches. This a gang stuff. <laughs> if Bobby in the building, that she with a gangster. He ain't gonna hesitate if I tell him to shank some. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing. If you don't know by now, I'm a Bob. So <laughs> let's get back into it. Got owe you some girl for fucking me. Imagine little Uzi on a primo beat. Imagine an AS on a Migo beat. Hip hop coach, you hear you on coasters, watching hundred inch screens, see who's sitting with Oprah. Black fandoms, women coming in tandems, bags of land, and she praying she don't get abandoned. Plus, did he just diss Migos and Lil Uzi? Am I tripping? Am I reaching? He said, run a hundred M's, B. I'm running things. Paper power pussy that should come in threes. What you think I owe you something, girl, for fucking me? Imagine Lil Uzi on a Primo beat. Imagine Nas on a Migo beat. Like, imagine your F on tree. Imagine your F on tree. Imagine you thinking I owe you shit. Imagine you think it because we effed, so I owe you some money or I'm supposed to elevate you. Imagine you thinking you're something. Imagine 
having the Uzi trying to tackle the Primo beat. Imagine me, Nas, on the Migo beat. That's it is. Am I reaching? <gasps> okay, Nas. You're talking spicy. Bag big from laying these ad libs. My photo the Jordan logo for this rap shit. Oculus VR, that's how I see shit. I can't let you drive the boat if you get seasick. Drake the North Red, she thought I was woofy. 4 a.m. still going, I'm not even woozy. Let your friends catch a ride, whip only got two seats. Slip and slide through Miami, she got on a two piece. I'm on her body, she a homebody. Hope them killers don't catch nobody. Every time I pop out, it pop off, pop off. Why can't. I'm sorry, is I don't know if I'm just too much of a barb that I'm seeing a lot of Nikki shit in Nas. Um I know that rappers they take from each other and all of that, but there's just too much of this to be coincidence. I'm not saying Nas is biting off of Nikki or anything, because I know they had a relationship and all of that before before Nikki was married. Um but I I see a lot of Nikki stuff in here. It's just like certain words that Nikki has have used before that's all just seem to be in the same or certain things that Nikki says or that has said has gone viral just seem to be on the same ones one um track. It's interesting. So we have this we got the sun line. Then the second one I've seen here is um he said Draped in all red, she thought I was the whoopty. 4 a.m. still going, I'm not even woozy. Let your friends catch a ride, whip, only got two seats. Slip and slide through Miami, she got only two piece. I am on her body, she her own body. Hope them killers don't catch no bodies. In 40 bars, didn't Nikki rap, rap something about... Um, I am the, I mean the whoops. Okay, I'm going to pull up 40 bars. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm tripping. And of course the nobodies, bitches and nobodies. The, um, nobody. The song with Kanye that didn't come out. 40 bars, Nikki lyrics. I know I've I've heard Whoopty or something from Nikki before. You see me on the stoop, man. This bird just salute me. Whether I'm the coop or the oopty dooksy, I'm always with the dude that hold the coffee. Let him eat my coochie and cop me poochie. Okay, I was tripping. I'm sorry, y'all. I need to get my head out of Nikki's ass. Okay. Um, it's not the same, but the catching no bodies and own body, I'm on a body. All of that rhymes just makes me think of Nikki Minaj. I'll probably cut this part out. And if not, I'm just... This video is already an hour. Oh my God. I'll probably have to cut this video into <laughs> individual tracks, but um, yeah. So let's continue. I'm sorry, y'all. TV got the top off, top off. Private estate, I'm a mob boss. Mob boss. Every time I pop out, it pop off. You wanted the talking, I'm talking it out. Uh -uh. Put it in your mouth, fuck you talking about. Every time they play this song, she like, this is my shit. But I really wanna know, do you love me or not? So say my name or when you say it, baby, call me artist. Don't be afraid to ride my way with my wrist, that's so naughty. And when I wasn't getting paid, them bitches wasn't on me. And you can tell I got Facts. my up, just look at the car key. A bunch of Javonji, uh, I pop up, huh? I copped up, Vinny my top of huh they're not really a boogie they just knock those huh they rocking these chains but it's not yours huh they dragging ask her bones like he pop no huh put my tip inside the walls like she was hollow huh my niggas innocent behind walls like they rollin nasty huh? and every time it pop off i pop out and every time i pop out it pop off huh? why ktv got the top off huh? top off private estate i'm a mob boss. my boss every time i pop out it pop off hey there i'm peter pop off and it's about to pop off <laughs> oh honey, honey. Deep in the club, I'm a mob boss. Yeah. 
big blood drip, you know it's hot sauce. Family career, got my style, bitch, in a hot law. Girls gone when I bitch, take your top off. Show no love, bitch, I'm in love with Sunny Ron. This little bit time ain't trying to check, but I got it on. I just made your favorite singer come out of thong. I just ran the money play with Shooter Brown. Drop a corner on your head, act stupid with it. Bitch, bitch, my jewels ain't rented, the coops ain't rented. Bitch, play them cars with no limit, stars in the ceiling. Bitch, I want all of the money, I harvest the millions. I just put my name on the pack, now we trapping and dealing. Niggas, niggas say that they gang, but I'm actually in it. I'm Tom Brady in the field, I make all the decisions. Top team. Yo, got shot up in that green lady. Pop out and pop off. Why KTV got the top off? Top off. Private estate, I'm a my boss. My boss. Every time I pop out and pop off. Why KTV? Okay, I'm going to transition into um store run. I'm not gonna so this one uh seven. Why KTV? I'm gonna give it a seven. It was a good song, but it's not the best on this on this album so this one is this is tall run track number seven nice yeah. no features yeah qba q ravens with what side let's go my thumb struck a lot of lighters pulled a lot of all nighters banned from some after hour spots my crew would choose violence moving silence who knew i grew to build the empire streets had me against the ropes would have thought i was zip lining text and address up money off tech pushing the tesla build up a fresh one it's one ipo to the next one rich from corporate a thug and expensive mistakes it's all a racket it's the same thing just the risk that you take moving too fast blues on your ass the boys came through it jay-z felt that jay-z felt that I'm sorry, I'm just being messy. But honestly, was it lying? He said, rich from corporate or thugging, expensive mistakes, it's all the racket, it's the same thing, just the risk that you take. It's the same thing. If you get rich from thugging, or you're from corporate, or you go into business, it's all about risk taking. Some people invest their life into businesses and it doesn't work out, it's a risk. Some people go to the street and thug it out. It's also a risk to get killed or to get to go to jail. I'm not saying that's right. I'm saying from his own perspective, that is what he's thinking. And if you can go to the street and thug it out and make that money and flip it and turn corporate, kudos to you, which is why I said, Jesse can feel it. Because now it's all, he's all corporate, including us and Wayne. So, yep. All facts. Task, peek through the blinds. You knew it was curtains. Bread when a take a L, lead a whole family hurting. Seen it a million times. Sister, wash him out with the verdict. Mm. So I'm clean as a whistle. Drinking premium liquor in between two or Their fingers get blisters. What I blew that on, I cannot seem to remember. I'm sorry that I'm pausing too soon. Um, he said something here that kind of validates everything I just said. He said, um, when you're moving too fast, you lose on your ass. The boys come through with a task. Peep through the blinds. You knew it was curtains. Breadwinner takes a L. Leave the whole family hurting. Seen it a million times. Sister washed him out with the, vector, with the verdict. That is the judge. So I'm clean as a whistle, drinking premium liquor in between two Argentina sisters. They counting up for me until their fingers get blisters. What I blew that on, I cannot seem to remember. The same thing I just said. Because when you're in the street for so long and you've seen how people get tripped up and they go to jail and the judge, even if the judge is a black sister, will still have to follow the law and give you a verdict wash you out spend the rest of your life in prison now because you were the breadwinner you've taken the hell your whole family is hurting so he said he's reflected on all of that and it's like it's not worth it so now he's clean as a whistle he's is how here chilling he's gone legit he's gone corporate he's, he's left the thug life whatever he made from the street he's flipping it he's gone corporate he's gone legal now he's drinking premium liquor in between two Argentina sisters. Why go? Why? That's what I don't understand about um, the rappers that have made it, but are still living the gang life. Like, why? 
Why do you want to get locked up when you're in the prime of your career? You've, you've already made it. You have all these millions. You have all these fans. You have all these number ones. You're, you're popping on the charts. You have the opportunity to lift your family out of poverty, out of the, out of the, out of the project. But yet you're still throwing sets and you're still gangbanging and you're still doing all of this, knowing that you are really the sole breadwinner and not just for your family, probably for 10 or 15 or 20 other families out there. Now it says it's not worth it. Why still continue to live that life when you can be somewhere drinking premium liquor in between two Argentinian and uh, Argentinian sisters? Or Caribbean sisters or African sisters. <laughs> All right, I play too much. Let's get back into it. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it play As I'm looking unless at I hear something crazy. Reminiscing on nighttime shootouts with my guys pouring this white wine. You can rich a million your left wrist, keep in perspective. We on God's time. Nikki, rich a million. What happens when kings don't see their potential status? What's your exit plan? Face to face with my omens, I never ran. Stood on stages, most never can. Pyrotechnics and leather pants. Shifting the culture. Mention me with Mick Jagger and Bono like your poster. I'm standing next to rookies somehow. They look older. The altitude I'm at is so cold it'll make your nose run. How you expect to get love if you don't show none? I should send you. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. He said, what happens when dealers reduce to addicts? What happens when kings don't see their potential status? What's your exit plan? I'm standing next to rookies. Somehow they are looking older. You are the young artist. You're supposed to be in your prime. I'm, I've put in 20 plus years in this game. I'm supposed to be washed out. I'm supposed to be washed up. I'm supposed to be flopping. So I'm standing next to you guys who are supposed to be the hot things, who are supposed to bring, you know, the energy back into the game. We're supposed to be rapping real bars because you're still young. You still have perspective. You should still be hungry. But how am I standing next to you and you're still looking older? Your sound is dated. You're not saying nothing. Your sound is, your music is hollow. It's me. Little niggas on the stove run. How we moving is no cut. I'm from the era of razor blades and coke dust. People living with no trust. Champagne in the soap suds. So I'm clean as a whistle. Drinking premium liquor in between two Argentinian sisters. They counting up for me until their fingers get blisters. What I blew that on, I cannot seem to remember. The world is yours. I like that chorus. It's yours, 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 yours. R.I.P. Ecstasy from Houdini. DMX, Prince Marky D, Shock G, real rap gods. Do you know the meaning? All the rap brothers we lost this year, the last year. Hey yo, check it out. Run to the store for me, man. Give me veggie chips, blunts in a bottle. You got this shit all twisted, man. It's about rank. You ain't there yet. Think it's you're sunny. Some store. people I'm here. I'm just testing you. He's talking his talk. <laughs> Golf, wow, ball style. Crucifix is over the chrome. Heart, you get crossed out. People battered down. Agent hate getting passed around. Tiger happy. Both his parents' lives matter now. Mm. Marble floors is my common law. We company builders. I inspired those who inspired you to run up millions. Not perfect per than the purest. I do this for the jets and them good hearted jurors. I really like this track. This is another nine. Store run is a nine for me. So we have store run as a nine. We have the pressure as a nine. And we have um, rare as ten. 
I've not seen a flop yet. There's there's no there's no track here that is a flop. This this there's no skip yet on this track, and we are about to we are like we are more than halfway. We are more than halfway. We are about halfway. Alright, let's go to moments. Track number eight, Nas. Uh, why is it not playing? This is how I feel. We used to all put in and go have for bail money. Fuck making it rain, now we making it hell money. Yeah. I never met Muhammad Ali. Wish I did. My brother saw him. Champ told him nothing is real. Gave me the chills. Thought about it, that's how I feel. We on autopilot. No captain. My whole career, I stayed away from features. But I figured this perfect timing to embrace new leaders. As the master teacher, I make cash deposits before the first flashy diamonds. That's waterworks. waterworks. Sassy models, the curviest brothers you knew from the sandbox and do you the dirtiest. Government assistance, poverty is big business. Overrun the Senate, both parties got policies built for the wicked. Look in the jungle, you gotta move like an animal. Prey on the predators, go at anybody that challenge you. Boardrooms, courtrooms, it'll leave you with war wounds. I ain't wanna be this cold hearted, but I was forced to. Wore my sneakers like when DMC did. Important the black culture like Spike Lee is. He got game. I wish my mom could see this. See the man that he is. Moments you bought it, that's how I feel. I'm gonna start that all over again. Sorry, guys. We used to all put in and go half on bail money. Fuck making it rain, now we making it hell money. Yeah. I never met Muhammad Ali. Wish I did. My brother saw him. Champ told him nothing is real. Hmm. Gave me the chills. Thought about it. That's how I feel. We on autopilot. No captain behind. It's a way. simulation. My whole career I stayed away from features, but I figured this perfect timing to embrace new leaders. Hmm. Accepting my position as the master teacher. Hmm. I make cash deposits before the first flashy diamonds. That's waterworks. waterworks. Sassy models, the curviest brothers you knew from the sandbox and do you the dirtiest. Government assistance, poverty is big business. Overrun the Senate, both parties got policies built for the wicked. Look in the jungle, you got them. Thank you, nice. They are all the same. All of these politicians. It's only a 0 0.001 of them that are really for the black people. Yep, I said what I said. They are all the same. Move like an animal, prey on the predators, go at anybody that challenge you. Boardrooms, courtrooms, it'll leave you with war wounds. I ain't want to be this cold-hearted, but I was forced to. Wore my sneakers like when DMC did. Important the black culture like Spike Lee is. He got game. I wish my mom could see this. See the man that he is. Moments you can't relive. Mm. Like taking your first swim. Mm. Like still being a virgin. <laughs> taking training wheels off the rims. Moving in your first crib or having your first kid. Moments you can't relive. I just I was waiting I was waiting I knew it was gonna say out I knew it was gonna rent that scheme <laughs> with something silly something crazy but still silly so he said um like taking your first swim like take like still being a virgin so he's talking about moments you can never relieve once it's happened it's happened even if something else happens again you can't really for that. So like taking your first swim, you can never forget your first swim. Like still being a virgin, you can relieve that. Like taking training wheels of the rims, moving in your first crib or having your first child, moments you can't relieve. Then he said, like the first time you bugging from something that said. <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh. Huh. Yo, I wish I met Sister Soldier, but I didn't. With a toll of colas, when it ever was beautifully written. She alive, so she'll hear this. I'm Dolo, no cold offenders. I've been with the social distance. Archbishop of sharp spitting, sports car whipping. You're acting like the real ain't what's needed. Of course, I get it. What's more authentic? Hit boy in the walking Guinness World Record. New York Minutes, I'm no dog. Hit his cane, the ending change. Traded my youth, some say I 
I became a suit, a representative of Martin Dream coming true. Every man is a king less, he make excuses. Wish that my mishaps wasn't a nuisance. Mm. Sunday to Sunday, get praise, I'm God made. Where I'm from, one go in the grave, one go in the cage. Moments you can't relive. Mm. Like still being a virgin, taking training wheels off the rims, moving in your first crib or having your first kid. Moments you can't relive. Like your first time bugging from something that I say. So silly. Third verse and I knew what to write. Oh. They say I'm a legacy artist. I blew up the price. Thirty years later, who would a new dude to be nice? I hit the tables and I threw up the dice. Under the lights, outside dining, al fresco. Silk is the dress code, had to be esco. Colors of light bulbs changed to voice command. Flew over Antigua, made the choice to land. Set my feet on a private island, house come with a staff. Chef know how to cook with no salt and low fat. Extend the stay, shorty, she don't want to go back. You got to appreciate the moments, bad times don't last. Like my first fist fight in a bridge, hype like the first time I heard nobody beats the biz. Those times bring me to tears. Moments you can't relive. Yeah. Like taking your first swim. Splash. Like still being a virgin. Splash. Taking training wheels off the rims. Moving in your first crib or having your first kid. It's a girl. Moments you can't relive. Moments you can't relive. Okay, that was moments. I really like it. I like it. It was spitting some facts. It was spitting facts. It was saying the truth. It was, it didn't lie. It didn't lie. This album so far has really, really, I mean, it's not surprising. It did, it's, I mean, the, the title is King's Disease 2. So if you listen to King's Disease 1, you know what you're going to get from 2. Um, it just validates everything I felt, everything I said before. Not sure I've gotten a Grammy way before this bullshit Grammy that they gave to him just to save face. And I feel like they're going to give Nikki a bullshit Grammy again. One Grammy just to save face. In fact, they might, no, scratch that. They might let Doja win a Grammy. They might let um, Cardi win another Grammy. They might let another new artist, new hip hop girl, Win another, in fact, they might give um, Bia another Grammy and then finally they'll give Nikki one Grammy just to shut out or just be like, yeah, just take. Ugh. And then it would be bittersweet because it's like, fuck it. I feel like it should, it will, it will get to a point where even if they want to give it to you, just don't go. Send send the barbs. Send the barbs to go in your place to collect it because at this point it's for them, it's not for you. So share it. Track number nine. Nobody featuring Miss Loving Hill. This track, when I saw the track list and I saw that Nas was going to feature Loving Hill, it's like, how did Nas get Miss Loving Hill on the track? Was she late? Did they record it in the session together? Did she, did Nas <laughs> tell her of, her of his release date like a year before to give Miss Loving Hill enough time to record her verse and prepare? Because there's one thing Miss Loving Hill is going to be, it's going to, she's going to be late. Um, so... I don't know what to expect. I don't even know what, I can't even think about what this might sound like, but I think it's gonna be dope. Um, I'm going to pull up the lyrics before I play it. So it's called Nobody. So let's go to Genius. Nobody Nas Loving Nas Lyrics. Should be able to bring it out like that.
Okay. It's up on Genius. Thank you, Genius. Let's get into it. Uh, why is it not playing? L. Oh. It sounds like a loving hill track already. One city, one country, one state. Some place to be nobody. I feel like I should dance to this. You know, do a little shimmy. Zen beats. Yeah. If Chappelle moved to Ghana, the finest piece in a rolling where the service always roaming, I'm packing my bags and going. It's a challenge in that. It's a balance in that. Visit beautiful places, it's more out here than the trap. Hmm. Houses in Long Island, they always found them. House in the south, a nigga barely got out. Son of LA. Remember calls with Dr. Dre. He told me, don't let the palm trees fool you, nigga, be safe. Hmm. Me and my higher self, we often would speak. Somehow we lost the connection. Might meet a Joshua tree. And it's been bothering me. Too many wavy women gotta log out of IG. Mm. Can't be my A's DMing. No kidding. It's hard to move like a Whew. This is a 10 already. This is a 10 already. The beat is Zen. It's setting up a nice welcoming environment for Miss Lauren Hill to come in and F shit up. Um, I love how Nas opened up the track. He said, if Chappelle moved to Ghana to find his peace, then I'm rolling where the service always roaming. I'm packing my bags and going. It's a challenge in that. It's a balancing, it's a balancing act. We see beautiful places that's more out there than the trap. There are so many beautiful, peaceful, zen places out there. If you have money, um, if you're African-American, you know, go out there and explore. Africa is a beautiful continent. You know, go out there and explore beautiful countries. Uh, buy land there. Invest back home. Go go back home and soak up culture. Go to Ghana. Go to Nigeria. Go to Ethiopia. Go to South Africa. You know, just go, just just go connect. We connect back to the roots and if Chappelle had to go to Ghana to find his peace then I'm rolling because now Chappelle is doing great and then he said it's a, it's a balancing act it's a challenge in that visit beautiful places that's more out here than the trap then he's comparing the experience of moving to a place like Ghana to find your peace and kind of like trying to so it's a challenge because you really want to go find peace but also there's temptations out here in Long Island in LA so he said that um houses in the south even if you got a house in the south because he's a black man he, he could barely go out because even if even if you have a big mansion in the south you have to be careful then he says um houses in Long Island they always found them because it's it's not safe for him Sonny LA he remember the call with Dr Dre who told him don't let the palm trees fool you dude be safe He said there's too many wavy women gotta log out of ig instagram bodies too many temptations everywhere at times you just need a break and it's okay to want to take a break it's okay to say you know what i love la i love the party life i love the high life i love um new york i love the city that doesn't sleep the city where whatever dream you have you can come true with a little bit of hard, hard work and luck and connection <laughs> You know, but at times you need to get out of the States. You need to go find your peace, especially as a black person. You need to go find your peace wherever that is. And at times your peace lies in your roots. You have to go back to where, to, to, to the ancestors, you know, and eat some fufu, eat some jollof, eat some dodo, eat some plantains, eat some egusi, <laughs> you know. And get, get some spirituality back into your life. Go detox.
from the evil spirit of LA. Go, 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 detox your soul, body, and spirit <laughs> for like three months. Be like Chappelle. Go to Ghana, go to Nigeria, and zen out. Cleanse your spirit. Then come back and come, you come back with a new fund perspective. You come back with a new fund um, outlook on life, and then things will become clearer. I'm, I really love this track. This is another 10 for me so far. Phil, you're not right the truth because I live it not like you musical niggas. We did it big and they biggest. They rather shoot than write tickets. What it feel like to go get it? What it feel like to go miss it? In one city, one country, one state. Some place to be nobody. Some place to be. Some place you wouldn't know probably. This is just setting it up for Miss Lauren Hill to come in. I can feel it. I wish your nurse is not Nigerian. As Nas done his um, ancestry DNA, he sounds like a Yoruba demon. Did you hear what he said, guys? He said this girl said he met a girl in Grenada who told him they should go get married. Broke down the meaning of Virgin Mary. But she got her own place, which is his favorite part of the night. That is when she texts him that he's home, that she's home safe. I'm home. That is favorite part of the night because <laughs> eat it and quit it. Nas, you nasty. Picture right there, a moment in time before anybody wanted a photo of mine. Before the internet energy and social decline destroyed the vibe, fooling us with the headlines. Keeping us blind, vultures eat you alive. Mm. Take you to the signs, wishing I find one city, one country, one state. Some place to be nobody. Some place to be. Miss Lauren Hill, Some come place on. You no problem. Come on. Some place to be nobody. Nobody. All my time has been focused on my freedom now. Why would I join them when I know that I can beat them now? Mm. They put their words on me and they can eat them now. Mm. That's probably why they keep on telling me I'm needed now. They tried to box me out while taking what they want from me. I spent too many years living too uncomfortably. Making room for people who didn't like the labor or wanted the spoils. Greedy, selfish behavior. Now let me give it to you balanced and with clarity. I don't need to turn myself into a parody. I don't, I don't do the shit you do for popularity. They clearly didn't understand when I said I get out apparently my awareness like Keanu in the matrix I'm saving souls and y'all complaining about my lateness now it's illegal for someone to walk in greatness they anti cleared Miss Laurie Neal said put some respect on my name bitches Including me, she was talking to me. Why she cared me like that? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm part of the people that at the beginning of this video, um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it in, but at the beginning of this video, I was talking about how. <laughs> Loving Hill is known for her lateness and I was making jokes about Nas having to <laughs> have Miss Loving Hill write a verse a year before so that you can make the album. And now she just cleared me. She said, I'm a, my awareness like Keanu in the Matrix, I'm saving souls and you're complaining about my lateness. How oh, she cleared me like that. Forgive me, Miss Lo Miss Loving Hill. 
I won't do it anymore. <laughs> now it's illegal for someone to walk in greatness. She said, I don't need to turn myself into a parody. I don't do the shit you do for popularity. They did, they clearly didn't understand when I said I got out, apparently. Miss Lorinil says she's been out of the game. And this is for everybody that's like, why are you calling Lauren Hill the goat? She's only got one album. She's only got one album. She cannot be the goat if she's only got one album, bitch. She said, I didn't, I didn't want to drop any album. I got out. After Miss Education of Lauren Hill, I got out. I got out. She said she, she spent too many years living too uncomfortably, making room for people who didn't like the label or what had the spoils, the greedy, selfish behaviors. They tried to box me out while taking what they want from me. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That one album I gave you, it's enough to save your souls. <laughs> she said, I'm saving souls and you're complaining about my lateness? Oh, now it's illegal for someone to walk in greatness, huh? Talk your talk, ma'am. She cleared us. Want the same, they want the same, but they don't take risks. Now the world will get to see its own reflection, and the anointed can pursue their own direction. And if you're wrong and you're too proud to hear correction, walk into the hole you dug yourself up a projection. See me in my freedom taking all my land back. They said a lot against me, thinking I just stand back. I got my legs beneath me, I got my hands back. A lot of people sabotage, they couldn't stand that. I turned the other cheek, I took blow after blow. There's so much crisis in the world because you reap what you sow. When you keep what you know is meant for someone else. The ditch you dig for them, you might just end up in yourself. I'm in the secret place, I keep a sacred space. They keep showing their hands but keep hiding their face if i'm a messenger you block me then you block the message hmm. so aggressive the world you made is what you're left with pride and ego over love and truth is reckless y'all niggas got a death wish the stupid leaves me breathless Oof. Oof. the mess the message the, the message i'm sorry i'm this is speaking to my soul she said it. she said she's coming here to save our souls I feel like she's saving my soul right now. You really have to think, you really have to sit down and think about what you're living for and what message you're putting out. Who are you? And this is not even to artists alone, even to us as individuals in our respective lives, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a surgeon, you're into business, you're, you're a YouTuber, whatever, you're in school. When you think you're at the top of your game and you're like the best at what you do or you're getting all of this accolades or you feel like you're better than everybody or you're at the top right now or whatever or you're succeeding you really have to you really have to take a pause at that at, at that moment when the, the light is shining on you and ask yourself what am i really for what do i stand for How am I behaving to other people that I feel like are less than? Because Miss Lauren is pitting. She said, and if you're wrong and you're too proud to hear correction, you're walking into the hole you dug yourself. Fuck a projection. Like, this is not projecting. You know, when you're projecting an image, but this one, you did it. We have an adage in my in my in my <laughs> um, in my tribe where we say that oh for why she right means you you. What is oh for why she right in English? I don't know. You're the cause of your own misfortune, basically. Miss Lauren said, you reap what you sow. When you keep what you know is meant for someone else, the ditch you dig for them, you must just end up in yourself. She said, if I'm a messenger, you block me, then you block the message. 
You've got a death wish and your, stupid, your stupidity leaves me breathless. Oof, I might just, I'll have to listen to this again. I feel like there's a lot that's gone over my head. I definitely have to listen to it. This is a, this is a breath of fresh air. This is, we needed this. We needed this reset. Like, especially in the female rap game, there's just too much rubbish, too much nonsense, too much disgusting things that's going on and... I feel like it's going to take someone like Miss Lauren Hill if she really wants to come back to clean some things up. I feel like I don't think Lil Kim can't because she's like the chief pioneer of majority of the bullshit that has happened in the rap game, female rap game. Um, Nikki is too hurt to even, she's been, Nikki is abrasive, yes, but I feel like majority of our abrasiveness comes from the hurts and the betrayal and the heartbreak and the backstabbing and the blackballing and everything. Like, you know, when you push someone, you keep pushing them, you push them to the wall and there's nowhere to go, but then they turn back to you and they have to bring the fight back to you. And I feel like um, with the queen era and um, with this new era, I feel like the Queen era, the kid did a lot of lashing out, but I feel like with this new era, she's probably more in the, I've said all I need to say now, I don't give a fuck, I'm just going to do me. But also, when you're still in that spot of I don't give a fuck, I'm just going to do me, it's still a little bit, it can still come off as abrasive and it can still come off as she doesn't want unity, but also how can you want unity with people that are backstabbing and the people that will spread false narratives and the people that are literally looking to end your career. And you know that for a fact. And people that are biting your style and doing all of this bullshit and plotting and scheming and all of this. And when you try to, you know, link up with them and, you know, put up a united front, they get what they want from you and discard you and just treat you like trash. So... I don't blame Nikki. I feel Nikki is too hard to be the glue to hold the female rap game back together. I think um, the new girl is I just puppets at this point. They don't even know their ass from their head right now. Um, yeah, and the men are just selfish and they are just trying to make a buck off of these women and. I don't know. I feel like Miss Lauren Hill might be the person that can do it that if she wants to. Or she might just stay far away from all of the negativity and just like she said, she said, yeah, she said, uh, I'm in a secret place. I keep a sacred place. She's protecting her peace. She's protecting her sacred place. Sacred place. I can't say sacred. Hmm. She's in a place, she's in a place of peace and she doesn't want to get involved in the, in the mess, in the we say my language in the rock bar rock This is a beautiful track. This is a 10. This is a 10. This is a 10. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so, so much. This is, we didn't know we needed this. So there are how many tracks left? Okay. Um, let's get into No Phony Love. Featuring Charlie Wilson. I'm just gonna let it play. I wasn't expecting that <laughs> switch. Too many moments. Thoughts in the culling in. Too many moments when I thought I'd never love again. Squad like a buck fifty, birdie in above the rim. With you, I kept it on some humble shit. Damn, I guess you haven't noticed how I always been devoted. Even when you this heroic late night, still get the coldest interviews. I've been misquoted. With you being bad, it's just a bonus. Look how beautiful your soul is. This shit feel like a high school crush. Think we in love. I used to be her high school crush. She woke up. 
High school love. That's a dad one, it's funny. Didn't I tell you guys that Nas is a Yoruba demon? Somebody needs to pull up Nas as history DNA. Uh, he, he has to be from Nigeria and he has to be from Yoruba tribe. The two tracks, the, the two tracks on this album so far that has to do with relationship and love. Nas is like, nah, one he was quitting and he, he was eating it and hitting it and quitting it. And this one is like, yeah, you want to tie me down. Relationships are bound to fail when you bed into it. Stupid of me continuously, I leave it in ruin. So he's reflecting on all of his past relationships. He said, you are perfect, but I, I might just be married to the music. For real. I don't think I'm all about that life. And I love how he said, yeah, like life is not what you harp on. The line before that, he said, he might just be married to music. So harp on, like life is not what you happen like you continue to talk about but also happen like the musical instruments so i really like that um or what you go through she bopping her shoulders like the darkest one in total Ooh, she got some culture in her go boo do you she, then he said women with good energy the ones i'm close to huh and i already wrote to waiting for you to pull to roll through she looking at me like you need a queen in your life yeah you can't be single for life she tried to read me my rights uh, then this is his reason for not wifing her up he said I just want somebody who is real you are looking for security but I want someone secure you know secure as in let's drop 30 racks at Louis store and have sex in the store Behind the curtain in the dressing room, but you are not about that life. <laughs> like he's not looking to marry someone that is looking for a come up. You need to have your own money, okay? You need to be secure. You're not. You're looking for security, but I'm looking. For, I'm also looking for someone secure. He's not looking to to marry no goody guy. He get my money when I'm in need. As a trifling girl in me, oh, she a gold digger. <laughs> That's just not all about that life. You gotta have your own money. To be with us, you have to be able to drop some $30,000 at the Louis store. Oh my God. Then you should have wiped up Nikki then. The queen got money. Or maybe Nikki didn't want to marry you. T. Okay. If only love, if only love, guarantee trust. Just to sum it up, you know what's up. No, what's up? It's only us. Oh, it's only us. Ooh. It's only us. No phony love. If only love, guarantee trust. Just to sum it up, you know what's up. It's only us. It's only us. You know it's, it's only us. All picky in our heads and stuff. Oh, you're picky. You're up. Thank God you know you're picky. 
Trust very love. picky. Love is trust. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that was a nice track. Um, uh, an eight. This one is called Brunch on Sundays. Bottomless Bellini's afternoon sun. Girls twerking on the tables, they just having fun. Leave them girls alone, you the owner, what you want? Buckets of Don P, how many you want? My nigga, he brought his son, got his dad's face. We order crab cakes, table with mad plates. R&B playlist, I'm in blast space. She told me about her last date, I had to laugh in her face. Yo, that's brunch on Sundays. Bring the hookah to the table, she gon' smoke it till her lungs ache. That's brunch on Sundays. Post the pictures on the gram, hashtag it Sunday fun day. Go in Chocolate City, DC girl Sadiddy, Valley Park the Rape. Here's a hundred fifty. Fitted master linen, linen master tennis, net worth master image. Shorty was an AKA, best friend was a Delta. Bringing up her student loans, I told her that I felt her. Flyest women on the yard, now they work for Delta. New Chanel slides, slip them off like Cinderella. That's brunch on Sundays. Mad blunts, real runs, girls trying to act up. Gotta keep it classy, this ain't time to act tough. Out of eye when we toast, we don't need no bad luck. <laughs> That's brunch on Sundays. Bring the hookah to the table. Is it bad luck if you don't look eye to eye when you toast? I don't know. Post the pictures on the gram, hashtag it Sunday fun day. It's my favorite day of the week. Oh, okay. It's my favorite day. It's my favorite day of the week. We heard you. Yeah. Sunday to Sunday, that shit is deep. Keep it play at all time. Be patient and soft vibes. We fucking with the latest and greatest of all time. They know if I'm winning, we winning, we all shine. Sure, my people gotta play at the table before mine. That's brunch on Sundays. This one's different. It's the good guy mixed with American pimp shit. I got broken money, but the tell for carry different. Yes, that's a black business. Tell for black business. So for black businesses. Black business, let's you rest it in it. Told a check a Zell account. There's a blessing in it. Ooh, I need some blessing in my Zell account. Long on a runway. White Salivas and a block of sun rays. Oysters work as an aphrodisiac. Right. Full Sundays run the need of back. Rapture gave her sweet love. She said she needed that. Still a player, baby. I know you've seen the Mac. That's brunch on Sundays. Mad blunts, real runs. This Girls song is a trip, man. <laughs> Gotta keep it classy. This ain't time to act tough. Class of high when we toast. We don't need no bad luck. Bless up. That's brunch on Sundays. Bring yeah. the hook to the table. She go smoke until I hung safe. That's brunch on Sundays. Post the pictures on the gram. Hashtag it Sunday fun day. It's my favorite day of the week. It's his favorite day of the week. It's my favorite day. We know, Mass. It's my favorite day of the week. You said it before. Yeah, it's Sunday to Sunday. That shit is deep. Yeah, yeah. That's brunch on Sunday. This is a cool track. It's a fun track. I love it. I, I like that because. That's brunch on Sunday. Okay. I'm going to post on the outro. It's a fun track and I really love this track because the whole of the album has just been deep and heavy and retrospective and introspective and just a lot of deep stuff. So I was kind of like getting deep overload and I'm so happy that on track 11 we have this um, fun track. <laughs> That you can laugh, you can cheer, you can be like, it's not so, it's just, you just use the old track to explain Sunday is his best day of the week and what he likes to eat on Sundays, you know, and he's bigging some African ladies up. Stay out of black women's businesses unless you're investing in it. Word. I love it. All right, so track number, this is, I'll give this a 9.5. It's a close 10 for me. I'll give it a nice a nine point five, a nine point five. It's a close ten for me. There's no skips yet in this on this album. We are on track twelve. There's no skip yet. That's really did something here. Next track, count me in. And let's play. Count me in. Let the radio blast. There's a movie.
movie, can't catch it on HBO Max. Couldn't play me even back when we was playing tag. White snow covered the roof of the Navy Jag. That's crucial. Loose screws in my mind because I didn't have the tools to unlock my power, then influence you. To lock me down, it'll take two of you. Must be delusional, dog. I'm living beautiful. Three, two, one, let's go. Count me in. Most non-sucker shit you could ever experience. Count me in. Sound of a four-five bus, and that's how I'm killing shit. Count me in. Sit back and let them expose who they really is. Count me in. Hmm. I feel like he's getting at somebody here. Nas is really coming for someone here. That energy. No two lights are alike. Ain't worried about none of them. They bleed how I bleed. Suffer from the symptoms of King's disease. Can't let the bright lights go to your head. I watch my day ones go to the feds. Mm. Bad, they snatch your bags with the double C's. They itching the upper squeeze. Shit is not a hundred till a nigga see a hundred bees. Seen ego and greed take over and kill a hundred kings. Daily a hundred niggas come for me. I'm trying to calculate the shit. They gotta count me in. Can't cure me with over the counter shit. Fireworks every time I turn the album in. Mm. When it ain't even July, I got it hot again. Mm. Majority on the profit split. We winning, winner to winner. Burrow don't get hit up. Get through any situation, my nigga. Chest out, chin up. Three, two, one, let's go. Count me in. Count me in. Count me in. He's definitely coming at someone's head over there. I don't know who that is, but whoever he's directed to, I'm sure the person knows. Count me in. Or maybe directed to multiple people. As most people do with their like tracks that it's supposed to go at people, they don't just make it about one person. Like, I'm no busting shots. Don't duck if it don't apply. So this this track is just you know. No two lights are alike. I would say it's an eight. It's an eight. That energy at the beginning kind of shook me a little bit. But it's a diss track. Not a diss. It's a it's it's a track that is directed at someone or a couple of people. But whatever. All right. So the next track is Composure featuring It's Boy. Hey yo, hit. I like this I was. Vote yes on hit boy, they time the city spokesman. They see we got the shit cracking and now they spirit broken. I'm standing on the green like the British Open and stacking ice on top of ice, but I'm not building snowmen. Mm. Doctors couldn't even detect my disorders. Mm. One K six figures on six different look. I haven't even pulled up um, as you can see I was trying to pull up the lyrics, but then I heard that. Ooh, I'm stacking ice on top of ice, but I ain't building a snowman. Bars, bars for days. I'm stacking ice. I don't think I've heard that before. I'm stacking ice on top of ice, but I ain't even building. I'm not building a snowman. He's stacking, you know, <laughs> when it's boom, 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 boom. And you can barely see their neck. Or boom, 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 boom. You can barely see their wrists. Or boom, boom, do, do, do. You can barely see. <laughs> Everywhere it's blinding, you know. <laughs> you're stacking that, that's a bar. But then, you know, when you're building a snowman, you pack the eyes, you stack them on each other, and then you shape them to be the snowman. So you're stacking eyes on top of ice, but it's not building a snowman. Bars. I put my soul in every song with limited support Focused on the out but not the outcome Big God is my source Spirit of excellence in my genetics Complexities come with my complexion Before you shut me down Let me reach my level first hmm. Y'all be too proud to do the devil's work All the acting and faking I can't take part in it I'm washing my hands with the soap opera shit Set the cameras to speed Co-directed KD We know the cage bird sings it's 
It's so interesting how he said, y'all be too proud to do the devil's work. He flipped it because normally it's people don't want to do the work, God's work, the Lord's work. But he's saying, y'all be too proud to do the devil's work. All that acting and faking, I can't take part in it. Okay, I feel like there's there's some hidden meaning in that line, in those two lines, and I'm not trying to break it down. If I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like there's some hidden meaning in there, and if you know what he's talking about, put it in the comments. But I really like when he said, uh, "Spirit of excellence in my genetics, complexities come with my complexion. When you're dark, when you're born black." You've got reality in your blood, but at the same time, there's complexities in your complexion, my girl, my boy, my person. It is what it is. Screams when it's free. A second I spin on this, I got it back in blessings. You can't stop it, run no airs on the way to legend. They should have told him I'm raising up on the total. Yeah, boiling over, pop, full of yola. Mix it with the cola, son of a block controller. Can't let him fuck me over. Nah. Gotta keep my composure. Look, had yellow Jonas when I was born. Kept me in the incubator, ten days long. I made up songs. I was like humming tunes ten years later, writing in my room. Ten years after that, I'm stay. Nas, why are you lying? Why is Nas here giving us Zobo? Why is Nas giving us Zobo? You, you had, you had jaundice when you were born, Nas. They kept you in an incubator 10 days long. So while you were in the incubator for 10 days as a baby, you were making up songs and humming tunes that you were going to, you are going to sing 10 years. Why is this man lying to us? <laughs> Nas. Stop lying, man. <laughs> it's funny, though. It's like it's too soon, but for me, see, my parents met inside a nightclub. Olu started to fight, and then my mom broke it up. She said, this boy, he's a... I... Didn't I say Nas is Nas sounds like a Yoruba demon? Olu is a Nigerian name, a Yoruba name. For me, see, my parents met inside a nightclub. Olu started to fight. Then my mom's broke it up. She said, "This boy is in the navy. Settle down before you need saving." Pop went to war around the world. Came home, we celebrated a war. Olu, I'm going to search for Nas's Nas lineage nas african roots ethnicity a dna whose results were display i'll be i wouldn't be so surprised if he's part nigerian he's giving me nigerian energy I need to be a prophet. Am I a prophet or a prophetess? Nas is Nigerian. You do Nas. Nas is the son of Anne and Oludara, born Charles Jones the third, who is a connect. What is a Connetis guitarist and singer? His father converted to Islam and changed his name to Oludara, which in Yoruba means God is good. I told you he's a internet assertions that Nas's father has recent Yoruba or Nigerian ancestry are not correct. Oh, 
both of Nancy's parents are from African American families that have lived in the United States for centuries. A DNA test whose results were displayed on the show Finding Your Roots stated that some of Nancy's ancestors were originally from Nigeria, Bini. Okay, so while Nancy's parents, okay, so Nancy is not second generation or first generation Nigerian or African, but his ancestors were originally from Nigeria. So the first country that the name is, that is where majority of your DNA comes from. So I was, I'm like maybe 60, 70% right. Nigeria, Benito, Gomali, the Ivory Coast, Ghana, Cameroon, Congo, and Senegal. Man, that's is like <laughs> Africa, <laughs> the map of Africa. Oh my God. And it's so interesting. So his dad actually changed his name from what was this mass? Born Charles Jones the Third changed his name from Ch Charles Jones the Third to Oludara in Yoruba. So I'm sure his dad probably no knew that he was from Nigeria and changed it. And did I just say change it? Okay. This this is telling me this is a long video. Change this name to Oludara, which is new. All in all, Nas is a Yoruba demon. I was right. I, I can sense them. I can, I can sense them. He has that Yoruba demon energy about the tracks I've been listening to. This is so trippy, y'all. We we know each other. We can we can we can sense each other. I never knew this. Huh. Interesting. Mm. All right, let's get back to the music. The Navy, settle down before y'all need saving. Pop went to war around the world, came home, we celebrated. A war, fast forward to when I started to play ball. From a place where we hate laws, see the jakes and we take off. Hit the gate, I get home and take my chain off. Thankful I got through the day and all the evil I prayed off. Everything is cause and effect. Make the wrong moves in this business, you lose all your respect. Mm. My block is dark as it gets. We all make mistakes, only few will recover from them. Don't spend your whole life running from them. Run up the numbers. Should have told them I'm raising up on a totem. Yeah, bowling over, pot full of Yola. Mix it up with the cola. Son of a queen and a soldier. Can't let them fuck me over. Gotta keep my composure. Look. Keep your composure. On oh, city blocks. In cell blocks. Keep your composure. Hold it down. Hold it tight. Hold it close. Hold space for yourself. It's to where the ancestors, our elders, our artists, our OGs, our dreamers, our builders, with each breath eternalize their successes, mm. their struggles, their sense of self, their sense of overcoming, and take that power forward with you in life. Remind yourself of the magnitude of your good fortune. And the mere chance, one in billions, that you survive, that you will thrive, that even the strongest kings and queens being, yet remain unbroken. Keep your composure and believe in the magic of who we are. Because what you believe is everything, and what someone believes about you is nothing. Keep your composure. I am Shaka Senghor. I like this track. I really like it. It's a 10 for me. Hey, hey. We gonna lose shit like this, my nigga. Yeah, through I walk through the valley of infidels. My Bible. Suckers. That's the penultimate track. The second before the last. We live in the biblical times. Ooh, I like this bit. Uh, first chapter. This chapter called Men. Given knowledge by the psychotic, the black was college. We don't add it up, and that shit will leave us divided. It's sort of like Ten Commandments. I'm talking about men and standards. I'm trying to reverse the damage. You boys obsessed with cameras. The damage was handed. So many move like Judas. Look at the past. It's proven. It's my duty to speak truth to power. I be feeling like it's my fault. Around your enemies, then they call you before you hear about it. Talk to you like it's still love. Keeping your vision clouded. Trying to get cool with guys because you want them to choose sides. Campaigning with the haters, dismissing truth for lies. Definition of a man, don't fall on the stand. For your soul, be exact, let you hold in advance. Mm. 
Don't be discouraged, just go with the plan. Gotta have faith in God's grace over the land. Mm. And I pray for the day when they lay down the caves, make their way up out their maze, get their mind up out of days. Too many mamas laying flowers at their graves. Don't rap about death, it's power in what you said. Thank you, Nas. Thank you. He said he said he said everything he needed to say here. If he if he stops the album here, if he stops the album here, it's past this message. I hope this I hope the upcoming rappers, the new rappers, um literally listen to the I know that most of them will fuck with this kind of album because it's not all about rob, robbing and killing dudes and fucking bitches and all of that it's too deep for them but this is what they need to listen to because when you when you get that advance from these labels you're selling your soul this is X will give you a couple millions and then you sign a a 10 a 10 album contract and they give you two million dollar advance and you sold your soul you signed you, you do that line in blood and then you gotta do all of this bullshit to pop for, for them to support you to give you playlisting to give you radio to give you the push to put money behind you and if you don't do what they ask you to do you get shelved but then you can't get out of your contract because you're stuck But Nas is praying for you. Nas is saying you shouldn't be discouraged. Just if you've already signed that, don't be discouraged. Just go with the plan. You gotta have faith in God's grace over the land. He's praying for the day when they would lay down and cage to make their way up out of that maze. Get their minds out of the days they are in because there's too many mothers laying flowers at the graves of their kids. Don't Nas is saying there's power in tongue. In the tongue, there's power in what you say. Don't rap about death. The little ducks, stop rapping about death. Six nine, stop rapping about death. All of these rappers rapping, just just putting negativity out there in the world, rapping about death, rapping about robbing and killing and guns and violence and raping and and you know, breaking hearts and just negativity and then you're surprised when all of that energy comes back to you tenfold but then you're gone you're gone you're gone and you're not here to see the hurt and the heartbreak that you've caused when your your parents are crying your mother is crying over your grave your your little sisters are heartbroken your kids get to grow up without their fathers Black homes getting broken, left in shambles, just because our young kings are left in the days. They don't know how to behave. <sighs> Let's get back into it. Living fast can wait, stay down and work on your grades. Speak gospel for the next generation. You could have it all, just don't side with Satan. Thank you. I've seen that take down most of the greatest. Hotel suites, Hollywood stars hanging. The other side of what you think is fly. Your jury could be cursed and so can your ride. Let that soak in your mind. Suburbans and beamers. Shout out with Nina's. How to stop a young genius. Spiritual like a deep cut from Shirley Caesar. I wonder if it's Jesus when the baby reach up. Sharpening up myself because I know they need us. My African skin gave me the passion to win. Praying this doesn't come to a tragic end. Third chapter. This chapter called Women. Y'all been the ribs since the beginning. A woman's intuition is what a man is missing. To understand your wisdom is something I had to learn. Somehow you the most unprotected on planet Earth. You smile lift me up and your eyes kiss my soul. Your sweetness is honeycomb, such a lovely tone. You hold the power to make a house a home. Because of you, I want to right my wrongs. Mm. Kiss your mother because we only get one. one. 
A grandmother's words to a grandson. Mm. Beautiful minds, developing time. Checks every month, could you help me for nine? They might see an image of a woman who's flawed, but I see a woman in the image of God. Highest regards, a light is to God. To man, women, and children, my Bible is ours. This is a beautiful up, track. Listen to it anytime. That revelation's vibe. Get you through it. Ain't none of us perfect. I dare show sure ain't praying this doesn't come to a tragic end. I pray so, amen. Let's hope for the best and do our best. To be our best, no less. Yeah. Y'all woke up this morning, had to pray to God and thank him because I made it this far. I kept it me. I'm going to stay me no matter what. No matter who change up. I'm going to try to get him to see the right path. So I think I'm on the right path. I really like this track. I I'm giving this track a ten. I know that I think this is like the fifth or fourth ten in this on this album. This album is a classic already to me, my opinion. I'm giving this track a ten just because of the it's so packed with insightful, inspirational message for the young generation. Um, It, so the first verse is it was talking about the men that's coming up in the in the rap game and signing of these contracts so that was the first um verse then the second chapter is talking about like the kids and you've seen the the life you've seen the hollywood glitz and you just want to get into it he said um you get what you give it's power in how you live. I sit and talk with the kids and tell them just how it is. Go straight to avoid the beats. Living fast can't wait. Stay down and work on your grades. Go to school. Babs, stay in school. There's a reason artists like Nick, and I'm sorry I keep bringing Nikki up, but now I see why they were attracted to each other, Nas and Nikki, because they think alike. Nikki keeps appearing. I can't speak. Nikki keeps stressing the importance of education. Bab, stay in school. Go work. Get that degree. Get something doing. Life is not all about trapping niggas and, and sucking dick and buying Birkin and all of that. What's your substance? What's your substance? Living fast can wait. Stay down and work on your grades. And grade does not only mean academia. There's like vocational schools out there. There's um, um, leadership schools out there. There's um, organizations that teach um, uh, vocational skills. You can go learn computer. IT is very, very lucrative. You can learn how to start a business. You can start working on your venture. You can start working on that big idea. You can... There's so many things. You can start a YouTube channel. This is my first video. Like, I'm doing a series, so I don't know if I'm going to chop this up. But if this, um, if I post this video as separate, then if, when I'm saying it's my first video, I mean, now I'm at so over two hours I've been recording this. So I might chop it up. But literally, this is like the first time I'm recording for YouTube. And I, I have a job. I, I'm a master's graduate. I, I have an MSW so i have a business at the side as well so have something you're doing we can kiki we can laugh we can you know listen to the song we can twerk if you want or two you can be sexually liberated you can be liberated you can be a feminist you can be all of that but also have substance you know just don't be shallow don't be empty you have nothing to bring to the table you have nothing to bring you can't contribute to conversations politically you can't express yourself you can't even if you have money you don't know you're not financially literate you don't know money management you don't know home management you don't know life management you can't even manage your life because everything that's in your brain it's all the fast life but then when you even get that money if you don't know how to manage it, if you are not educated, education is not just having degrees. Educated is also life. Education is all being educated and having education. It's also about your life, life management, money management. What's your credit score? Do you know how to build your credit? Do you have health insurance? 
Do you know how to be responsible with yourself, with your family, with your relationships, with your health? Are you just dogging men raw and you're not protecting yourself? There's like layers to this thing. And that is why at times when people say go to school, it's not only for saying you're getting degrees or you're saying, oh, I have a master's or I have a bachelor's degree. But there are some things that you learn in the four walls of a university or in the four walls of an institution, be it vocational training, be it, that just stays with you. They teach you money management, they teach you all of those things, and those are vital tools that would help you, even if you don't use your certificate to go work a white collar job, you might decide to start a business. Guess what? A lot of businesses are struggling right now because they are not financially literate. They don't even know money management. They don't even know that your personal credit can actually affect your business when you're about to go access capital and you want to uh, go to banks to get loans. Majority don't know that. You don't know that your own personal choices. You, don't, you also don't know that why your personal choices also affect your business. That doesn't mean you get to spend the business on personalized expenses. You need to learn how to separate business from personal so that you don't get sued. Because if the business gets sued, then it's the business that gets sued, but your personal asset doesn't get touched. These are kind of the things that you learn when you're educated. Or you can just go get a lawyer and pay hundreds of thousands of dollars per, per year. But even lawyers can still stifle you when you can't even read a simple contract. Lawyers are not to be trusted. You don't just sign any contract that's in front of you. I can go on and on and on about this. Stay down, work on your grades. Speaking evil, speaking gospel to the next generation. He said you can have it all, just so just don't side with Satan. I've seen that take down most of our greatest. You know, hotel suits, Hollywood stars hanging. They say suicide, suicide, heart attack, suicide, overdose. Really? Really? Another overdose, another car wreck, another this, another that. Why, 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 if the, why are all of the Hollywood stars dying in their prime? Being cut down. By gun, violence, suicide, drug overdose, car crash. He said, the other side that you think is fly, that's all that. Even when you get it, your jewelry can be cursed and so can your ride. Let that soak up in your mind. Let that soak up in your mind. All those flashy life can be cursed. Because you have, sometimes you have to pay it back in blood. So that's why I'm giving this because it speaks to me and I, 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 I like listening to, to music like this. I like it. I like it. And I wish a lot of people, nobody is saying this is the kind of music you should listen to 24-7. But you should definitely listen to this kind of music once in a while. If you can't handle all of the heavy stuff, but come on, every day it's all about from the top make it drop that's some mm -mm. Mm -mm. not every day you know at times you need soul food food for the soul and this is it this is a 10. so the last um <laughs> the last track of the king's disease album the king's disease 2 album is nas is good <laughs> all right let's get into it and this is all nas himself no features oh, I, I like the intro already Touch up the game like a photo edit. Camera roll like Oscar Michaud. They got a roll of credits. Like mm. Rome came in and came in and he stole the essence. Ooh. Before they ordered it down and taught us bogus lessons. Mm -hmm. Written in stone, write whatever in your history books. Me and ancient Egyptian skin tone has similar looks. On my trip out to Cairo, I felt home on arrival. I swam in the Red Sea, took a boat on a Nile. It went on. my blood to drive these cars and live as laws. Escobar cigars, avoiding the prison bars. Nice. I deserted threads in my closet, big boy deposits. 
Nike shares and stock tips. Catching up with flexing hard on them. Used to get eviction notices that had a red mark. The lights was out, that's why we sit dark. Back in the fool at the pool in Queensbridge Park. Niggas would not survive in my hood. Pull up with all my jewels on the knives. It's good. Knives is good. My nigga knives is good. I love my hood so much, I go out in a blaze and shoot out. You say, I can't come out there. I throw it all away. Fuck it. <laughs> shout out to DU forever. It's not all about the life anymore. Now it's all about living life. Now y'all woke, I'm laughing at niggas. Y'all used to say not talking that anti-establishment business. Look at my settlement cases. They ain't asking some stitches. Used to put bottles to faces. All we ask is forgiveness. My past story full of sin. Somehow I got a clan. Back in 2010, Department of Justice wrote me looking for one of my friends. I didn't know where he was at. Didn't even have a hint. And even if I did, a nigga I never snitch. She cold, I walked into my greatness. Freak hoes throw their pussy a part of your cadence. Raised by a queen, that's the only reason I made it. Mm. Disease, a Salute to his mother. Death to the pessimistic mind state. Mm. Lack of hope, low spirit, motherfuckers. Mm. Life to kings, getting the king's ransom, living handsome. <sighs> Yo, Ed, we did it. King's disease. I feel blessed. I felt like Nas took me to church and fed my soul. This, this album is beautiful. This album is a classic. This album is inspirational. This album is introspective retrospective bringing the bars bars for days talking about what he's gone through talking about his life talking about what's going on in the industry uh brought miss lauren hill uh lauren hill him gave a perspective everybody there's no feature on this track that i'm like oh why did why did nas bring him in everybody just fits perfectly this is a masterpiece i really love this the album itself i'm giving it a 9.8888888888 i'm definitely listening to this album again i think this is a very classic album um, I like Nas. I like his message. He's such a he's, a... he's in a lane of his own. There's not a lot of rap artists that can give this kind of album and not be tempted to add in a couple of, you know, radio-friendly tracks that is going to bring the streams in. You know tracks that you want to stand up and dance you know give them a couple of trap records um this is pure hip-hop this is pure rap this is no uh pop hip-hop shit this is pure rap this is pure message this is pure lyrics with some nice tracks and some nice melodies so if you're looking for uh but the yadi 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 oh from the top this is not this ain't no TikTok shit okay so um I just I just love this. I love I love this is a cultural reset. This is because especially for the kids on TikTok and the kids that are like the teenagers and the people and the young ones that are just coming up that are getting introduced into the version of hip hop that is right now. I feel like that's why I appreciate artists like Nas that can release projects like this so that they can still get introduced with a respected veteran in the game be listening a project like this they can get introduced to this kind of original you know clean hip-hop that speaks on social issues that that advises the young generations you know that try to set them on the straight and narrow and not just glorifying violence and 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 gangs and breaking um 
the women's heart and and robbing men for working and, and being a prostitute and a whole and how you can ride the dick and you can slide on it and twirl on it and all of that and you know not glorifying that lifestyle so um i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that lifestyle don't come for me in the comments uh you do you do you whatever sexual liberation i'm all for it do whatever you want but at the same time it's nice to also have artists like this so that there's a balance there needs to be just like what miss lauren hill says there needs to be a balance in the game it we can't we can't all just continue like this you, you guys know that right every mainstream artist can't just be trap artists no content have to be naked to sell records um shit there has to be balance even god gave us the choice even god even god gave us free will you know to choose between right and wrong to choose how you want to live your life at least we have free will so let, let let's have choose whatever you want you have records that glorify a certain lifestyle if you're attracted to that lifestyle go listen go, go listen to those records um and you have records like this that try to that is more uplifting and also talks about a certain lifestyle and how and the lessons learned from that lifestyle and if you're attracted to this kind of energy then go go listen to it and you're someone like me that you like to find balance in both because life is too short you want to be on the you know you just you you want to listen to what you want to listen to and your moods change and you might want to pop and make it drop and twerk and do body yodi yodi and all of that but also you you want to you know pull yourself back when you're going too much with a record like this it's all well and good just do you live and let live so um thank you guys for staying up <laughs> this is literally 2 59 a.m it's about 3 a.m i have to go to work <laughs> in the morning um it's going to be friday and i have to be at work at nine so i'm going to go to bed uh i don't know if i should edit this and upload it i don't know i'm scared this is going to be the first video i'm going to upload but anyway i'm gonna do it i didn't record stay up to record for this long and chicken up i'm going to upload it please watch and um if you like this comment and then um, i'll respond to you um, i'm a new brand new channel support me and um i'll catch you some other time bye